unboxing new arrivals. Even though it's manufactured in Lithuania, it arrived from Finland. Let's open it and have a look at the inside, at the PCB. I'm going to prepare wires for the installation of the device. And I'm going to connect it behind the fuse box. As usual, red for positive, black for negative and yellow for ignition, dedicated for ignition. Inserting the SIM card. And plugging the connector. Now to set up this device I need to download the Teltonica configurator which is available at the Teltonica webpage. You will find all the links in the video description. In this webpage I am going to find the, my device and download the configurator. Also you can find uh, all the necessary information for the first start. Finally I got what I need, I found it and I'm hitting the download button. The configurator is set it up. Now I'm going to search for a Bluetooth device. I'm adding Bluetooth device. FMB FMB920 has a built-in Bluetooth. If LE letters appear, you need to reconnect the device and choose without LE letters. Default password is 555 and we are ready to go. Switching back to configurator. Configurator will find the device by itself automatically. Here you go. Now we can see all the menu and the uh, uh, data is collected. Parameters are loaded. Now setting up the platform. My clients have found that uh, Ruhavik is the best at the moment free platform up to free devices. I'm going to create a, a new account here. Continental Europe here, so let's leave metrics. To add the device to this platform is super easy. Write down key letters and uh, choose your device from drop down menu. ID is going to be the email code, which I'm going to copy paste from the programmator. Control V to paste it in. I got my server address and port. Again, Control plus C to copy it and I'm going to paste it in GPRS section. Copy the port data and as you can see information in a red square so I left the space where it's not needed. Now I'm going to save everything to the device. Parameters are saved and the location should be already visible and it is. From the drop down menu you can choose what you want to see and my client wants to see external power source which would be the battery voltage and I'm going to shorten the name of the external power source simply to a V letter known as voltage.
all done here, voltage is visible. Now don't forget to download the app for your Android or iPhone. The device itself has uh, a lot of parameters that you can choose. It's really funky, you can set it up as you want and uh, the device itself is applicable to a lot of needs. Let's browse a little bit through the menu. Thanks for watching and enjoy!